Hello, everyone. I'm currently working as a QA engineer. I'm planning to build my own portfolio to showcase my work. If it's not too much trouble, could you kindly share your QA portfolio? Any form of sharing that is convenient for you would be much appreciated. If you have a digital portfolio or any online resources, please share them. Thank you in advance. I'm quite fond of this question because um, I've been talking about this for the past few weeks about a setting up a QA portfolio, right? And when you think about it, what exactly is a QA portfolio? Because how could you, usually when you think about portfolios, you're thinking about, um, let's say you're a full stack developer or something like that, right? And talking about a, a QA portfolio. So you'd say, these are the websites that I've done. These are the technologies that I've used. This is what I'm familiar with. All that good stuff, right? So, timer. Wait, so, Nope. Perfect. All right. So yeah, like, and and it's like these are so this website is built on this technology. So this, uh, for example, um, I'm using HTML5, CSS, Bootstrap. Um, it's using React. MongoDB is the, is the database uh, um, behind it. All that stuff, right? Or maybe you're using MySQL. Uh, you just say you're doing it in Python, and you have Flask, like all this different stuff, right? So. Generally, when we're thinking about when we're thinking about um, a QA portfolio, how how would you do a QA portfolio? So, so this is an excellent question. How would you do a QA portfolio? So, this is this is this is how I would do a QA portfolio. And now that I think about it. I, I need, to, I'm going to build myself a QA portfolio as well, because like, why just talk about it? Why not build it? And maybe we can build it together. Right. And so now you ask tech coach Ralph, how would we build a QA portfolio? Because we're not building a website. Or if we're, if we're building a QA portfolio, it's going to include automation tests. It's going to include test cases. It's going to include, um, like defects like bugs that are, would be reported, et cetera. So how would I build a QA portfolio? What I would do is, and if you, if you, if you listen carefully, all the things that I, that I would do, we've started to do them already and we've touched on them. Okay. So the first thing I would do, I would pick some major websites and websites in different industries. So I would take an airline website, Right. So let's say either a Delta, a JetBlue, an American Airlines, um, Spirit, um, Southwest Airlines, whatever, whatever it may be. Right. I'll take one of those web. I'll take. I'll say I'm going to take one or two of those websites, and that'll be my. Um, that'll be my um, airline industry. Right. And I'm. And I'll say I'm going to write test cases for that. I'm going to. I'm going to write automation tests. If I find any de um, defects, or maybe I'll, I'll make up defects, right? Maybe I'll make up defects, uh, like not necessarily have, um, not necessarily have um, particular like that I found defects on the website because you know you might not find defects, right? But just to show that this is how I would report a defect, I I'm going to I'm going to create defect reports for those sites. So now I take one for like the airline industry. I take one for e-commerce. So maybe uh, um, a, maybe like Amazon or maybe uh, an ASOS, for example, Abercrombie and Finch, right? And those become my clients. So now I create a website and you can, you can use um, like a WordPress template where it can be, and you can ha like take a, a so, so, so how's your resume and to be, uh, and that'd be your portfolio. So you can say like, I'll put unofficial clients, right? And I would say ASOS, Delta, JetBlue, um, what other websites are there? Like DoorDash, Uber Eats, get some major websites, right? And those are, those are going to be my unofficial clients. And then I'm going to write test cases for them. I'll say, let's say we write about five to 10 test cases each, right? And I will um, create like a, a, a defect or two for each, right? So now we have, let's say we have five, let's say we have five 
clients that we're using, 10, 10 test cases each. That makes 50 different test cases on major platforms. And then we have, um, then we have, let's say two defects each that gives us 10 defects, right? Like in a variety of different industries. And then I will start to automate those 10 test cases. So now you're getting familiar with the code, right? You're getting familiar with like how to, and, and, and when I automate them, I'm going to do it in Java and in Python. And if, if you're interested in like C sharp or whatever, like you can do C sharp too, but I'm going to do it Selenium to get started. Right. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to automate those. So that's 50 different automated tests. I'm going to implement the page object model. Right. I'm going to, I implement the page object model. I'm going to, um, what else are we going to do? We have the, we have our test cases, we have our test cases documented. We have our, we have our, our bugs reported. We have our, um, our tests automated. So now we push all, all those automated code to, to GitHub, right? So, and although we have like 50 automated tests, but let's say you do it in two different languages. So now you have a hundred automated tests, right? And I push that to, I push that to GitHub. So now they can see my code. They can see how I structure my code. I have my, my page object factory working in JavaScript and in, and in, um, I'm sorry, not JavaScript. I have it in Java and I have it in Python. And let's say you add more languages, you, you, you double that. Like you just add another 50 to it. Right. And then, um, so now I have, and then I implement a test case management, um, software so I can manage my test cases and I put my test cases in there. So then I can also show that, all right, so this is where I house my test cases. These are where I run my automated tests. These are where, um, these are where like I, I have my defects tracked to keep going. So same way that we're going to implement report portal, you send the results of, you send the results of your test cases, of your test runs to report portal. So now, you should, so now your portfolio is showing a whole conglomerate of the, the, the testing process from beginning to end. So you have your test cases, you have your defects, you have your automated tests, you have, uh, you, you have your database where you store your automated, where you store your test cases, and then you have the results of your automated tests. You, now, let's say you, you have that. So you, and on your website, you have all that documented. You have the details about the website that you're automated, that you're, that you're, um, that you're testing and automating. And you can have a link to that GitHub for that particular one, all that stuff, right? It's, it's, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be amazing. Like you will blow your employers out of the sky, right? Like they'll be like, oh, wow. Like this person's really serious about the, the work that they're doing um, because you're showing, you're showing the end to end process of your QA testing ability, right? And then like, as you go on. You can start implementing some, you can start implementing some, there was some rest testing, all of that. And, and, and then like, as you build up, as you build up your portfolio, right? As you build up your portfolio, you can, as you build up your portfolio, you can, um, start implementing new frameworks, right? So you implement, let's say playwright, you implement, um, Cypress. You implement, you implement, um, what's other, like maybe detox, like there's so many, so so many different testing platforms, right. That you can show like, okay, I'm, I'm well-versed in here, 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 and here. Okay. So, so that's how I would suggest you implement your portfolio. And what we're going to do on this channel is implement, I'm going to implement my own portfolio. So I can also practice what I'm preaching so you can see how it would, how it would come out, uh, where you have a comprehensive QA portfolio that you can blow your interviewers out of the sky. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.